Hello and welcome. My name is Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Forge World and Games Workshop. I'm wishing you a very Merry Christmas uh, because this is the last uh, news and pre-order video before uh, the big day and it's one of the last times I get to interact with you um, kind of on a live basis if that makes sense because I'm recording this on uh, Saturday 21st of December. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you for your support throughout the whole of this year. I continued with uh, releasing content every single day up until about the summer and then it trailed off but I still managed to give uh, you all at least three videos a week or so and covered many of the new releases. I will try and get a, a year in review video com to come out uh, around about the 30th or 31st of uh, December for you to enjoy where I'll go through some of the highlights of the year on the channel and all of the releases. Uh, but that's kind of in this video too, because Games Workshop have um, done a bit of a year in review as well. In my opinion, it was an alright year. I think it was a weaker year than last year, uh, if I have to say. Um, but I'm pretty sure next year will be uh, better than this year in terms of releases. Anyway, if you'd like to support this channel further, um, you can do on Patreon for as little as like a dollar a month and it helps the channel get all of the new releases uh, for armies that uh, that I normally wouldn't um, pick up. I've just got into Age of Sigmar with the Slaves of Darkness army. There's a couple of armies for each order, I suppose, um, that I want to get into, such as the Ossiarch Bone Reapers, the Night Horn and the Gloomspike Gits and obviously your continued support uh, will allow the channel to cover all of those armies. If you can't support the channel that way, uh, I'd hop on over to Element Games where you can save 15 to 25% off of all of your Warhammer 40k uh, models and they ship worldwide. Uh, just use my affiliate link in the uh, description below and that will tell them that I've told you about them. There's a few of you that do this already and uh, thank you uh, to you guys. It doesn't cost you anything to do that and um, each order, depending on the size, sends a couple of pounds to the uh, channel um, which over time uh, could be you know like a, a new tank or uh, a new box or even a codex uh, so thank you for everyone that supported the channel through element games um, this year let's jump on over to the news then because this is the main bulk of of this video it'll be the the news um, section on the community website You've got these kind of snowier effects, you've got the, the Christmas lights, um, it takes on a very Christmassy feel. But if we go back in time to the 14th of December, pre-order the Chaos Dwarfs and Made to Order and the Court of the Blind King uh, book. The next day on the Sunday, uh, they had a De Red Gobbo's uh, Rain Draws to a Close, last chance to send your wish list to Dear Red Gobbo on Twitter. Uh, and also on Sunday, there was a little bit of a uh, look at um, the next week's pre-orders which on here uh, essentially is just the uh, Grom Brindle um, Dwarf it's this year's special edition model uh, Tech Priest Grom Brindle uh, looks pretty good unfortunately you can't just uh, buy this model online it, you can only get it in stores right after Christmas on the 26th uh, to the 29th Maybe they've got some kind of system, I hope they've got some kind of system uh, whereby you they're, they're only allowed to sell a certain many per each of those days because it would suck if you turned up on Sunday the 29th and they sold all of theirs on the Thursday the 26th. Um, but yeah, you can only get it in store. It's a bit of a enticement to, for you to obviously go in there and buy other things like paints and glues and uh, other models and things. Uh, so uh, yeah, so I think that was pretty good. Nice little model. Um, don't know how much he's going to be. My best guess is £25, maybe 20 uh, 20 at a push. Anyway, moving back to the rest of the news. Uh, there was a Big Brothers episode 11 uh, from the mind of Mengel. Psychic Awakening, A Better Place. Warhammer Age of Sigmar news updates uh, now live. The Rumor Engine, that's like some kind of sail thing or wood, wood thing. Uh, top tips from the Underhive Architect, creating a winter-themed army. This was pretty interesting. Uh, you've got some examples there. Look, warm, cool. <laughs> um, so it shows you like the colour palettes uh, to, to get that, that cool feel. 
and also snow and tell. Um, some examples, you've got ice weapons, snowy bases, uh, snow camouflage. So yeah, I'm pleased that they did this, uh, creating a winter themed army. My Tyranids are winter themed. Um, I, I probably like my Slaves to Darkness to be winter themed too. Uh, not, nothing like seeing these Slaves to Darkness models with the, the fur lined coats and, and uh, fur lined capes and things. Uh, that's pretty good. Discover the Deepkin from Black Library. Uh, the year in Warhammer, January to April. So this is the main feature of this video basically. Um, a sum up of uh, all the models and things that have come out this year. So you've got January, uh, we had the release of the Gloom Spike Gits. Fantastic looking models uh, and you have the, uh, the Loon King as well. Um, yeah, incredible. Then February, we had more releases from the Gene Stealer cults. So you had all those bikes, quad bikes, uh, the Achilles, um, and some lovely single miniatures and the uh, aberrants as well. Then Blackstone Fortress got a bit of an upgrade in the form of uh, the Amble, Dreaded Amble, lovely looking miniature. In March, we got all those uh, Chaos releases and the Vigilist campaign, uh, including Abaddon. Fantastic model. I absolutely love it to bits. Then uh, also uh, we had, well in, in February for the weekend, that we had Sanguinius uh, and some Blood Angels models uh, from Forge World. In April we had uh, some Slanesh. I wasn't a huge fan of the Keeper of Secrets, uh, but uh, that range definitely needed a, a big boost and upgrade. And then there was another look at um, Terrifying Fiction for horror fans. So that was uh, January to April. There's a Regimental Standard, Snow Thanks. Warren Rohan designer notes, and then we go to May to August for this year. So in May, we had the Forbidden Power and Storm Vaults, a Halfling team, we've got Kill Team Elites. In June, we've got the huge uh, contrast uh, range. In July, we've got Chaos Knights, along with like the Primaris uh, uh, Repulsor Executioner as well. And then a couple of models for Blackstone Fortress. In August, we knew we saw uh, the Palanite for Enforcers. And then in September, we got the new uh, Codex Space Marines. That's the second Codex for 8th edition for Space Marines. Um, it had a fair few new data sheets. It also got rid of a, a few as well. It was cheaper. Two, so it wasn't £30, I think it was £25, so that was nice. Uh, but it did do away with all of the, the special characters. You can now only get them in the, the supplement, which are another £17.50. Uh, so if you want the full book for your Imperial Fist Army, in, in a way your full codex, it can cost you yeah almost £45. Um, fair bit of money, but the Space Marine range is the largest range that they do. So it makes sense to have supplement. Uh, supplement books for the, for each chapter and for, further down the line you, you also got the Invictus uh, Warsuit and uh, the release of the other Vanguard models. Big Guns for Big Titans, this is the, the main pre-order from yesterday. Uh, when I first posted this on Instagram there was a couple of people a bit confused that this had already been out. It has already been out but just for Adeptus Titanicus and believe it or not there are people that get confused with my Warlord Titan review. Uh, maybe because Adeptus Titanicus is so popular now. People People have been putting on my Warlord review, you know, you can get this for like $100. Why have you paid $1,400? Well, that's because they do a, a Warlord Titan in plastic um, for the Adeptus Titanicus um, game, whereas my one is for Horus Heresy. It's the full-scale um, model. I say full-scale, you know what I mean. 28mm um, scale. Uh, but this weapon is for the full uh, Warlord Titan. The reason it looks familiar and people are probably confused is because of course it's exactly the same weapon as uh, the, the model for Adeptus Titanicus and you're going to see that and I can't wait for all of the other weapons that they've released um, for Adeptus Titanicus from, through Forge World come out for the bigger uh, Titans, you know the, the full scale ones. Um, so this is the Titan Warlord Titan Macro Gatling Blaster. I am going to get one I don't know whether I'll get one now for release, but it's great that they've done it and I can't wait for the other weapons. Uh, it's the same price as the Bellicosa Volcano Cannon, uh, so if you wanted more shots, I mean it's still strength 10, which is incredible, uh, but if you wanted more shots at a lesser range, because the Bellicosa Volcano Cannon is like 180 inches, so this is a way shorter range, um, but it does have a nice volume of shots there. 
And there it is with the Volcano Cannon and the um, Macro Gatling Blaster. But that is the main pre-order for this week. You also have Turn Signals on our Land Raider and Army Showcase Sloan's Caradron Overlords, Warhammer Christmas Cracker Jokes, and then finally uh, a year in Warhammer September to December. Uh, so in September uh, we had uh, Warhammer Underworlds, a uh, big, big uh, release for Games Workshop. In October we had the first of the Psychic Awakening books, uh, which is Phoenix Rising and um, with Jane Zar and Drazar, two fantastic models. I've done reviews on those, check them out on the channel. And then in November, we had the Ossiarch Bone Reapers. Um, I'd say very spooky. Uh, it's nice when they release ghosts or skeletons or something uh, just after Halloween. It would have been nice if they released them in October. Um, but this range is beautiful. It's quite pricey, of course, uh, but the miniatures are uh, absolutely stunning. And if you ever get the chance to go to Warhammer World, they've got this beautiful, uh, well-designed Ossiarch Bone Reapers uh, display now with multiple layers. It goes underground, there's bones everywhere. It really, yeah, you, you want to collect an army of these. I want to collect an army and I will collect an army of these at some point, um, but I think that's going to be after my Slaves to Darkness uh, on Nighthorn um, collections. I might even skip Nighthorn and just go straight to these uh, bad boys, but Unfortunately, these don't have a battle force or a start collecting set out at the moment, uh, which yeah does suck a bit. Uh, but hopefully, when they release the uh, a start collecting set soon, then uh, I'll jump on board. But that was in November. We also had uh, this excellent Zone Mortalis terrain uh, packed into uh, the Necromunda Dark Uprising um, box game. Quite pricey in my opinion, but uh, the scenery it's no fault in that scenery. It's absolutely fantastic and finally in December we had um, the Red Gobbo along with a new tank for um, Horus Heresy as well the Saber Strike tank and the Sisters Army army set as well um, which is uh, omitted off of here maybe maybe Games Workshop don't want to um, remind people that that came out and sold out very quickly next year I think is going to be much bigger much better uh, this year was was all right and there's a few notable releases but i think next year is when it's all gonna kick off especially with um more releases for for horus heresy um from forge world and in the uh, form of uh, dark angels and possibly we'll get a new primark next year as well uh, that would be nice so that is all the news um from the community web store let's have a look at forge world and have a look at this uh, new pre-order this new titan uh, weapon so if we click on new uh, and we go to pre-orders, it is just the Gatling um, Blaster. You, They do have a bundle at the moment, which is uh, a little bit cheaper uh, than buying all of the, the weapons and things separate. You can get the Warlord Titan, almost a thousand pounds. So for 275 pounds, you're getting uh, two top carapace mounted weapons, which are normally 110 pounds for the pair. Uh, you're getting two weapons which are £92, so that's £180, so already that is almost £300 plus a £60 head. It's about £360 in £250, so you're saving £110 or so um, by getting this bundle, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, so if you're up, up for getting a Warlord Titan um, to treat yourself over Christmas, uh, It'll take you for quite a few months to finish, I, I can assure you. But uh, if you wanted to do that, you can save a bit of money by getting this weapon loadout. Um, and it's yeah, it's a decent weapon loadout. And I'm looking forward to the uh, Vulcan Mega Bolters and uh, uh, the dual turbo lasers that they'll eventually release at some point. But this is the main pre-order, the uh, Warlord Titan Macro Gatling Blaster. It's the same price, as I said, as the Bellicosa uh, Volcano Cannon at £92. It's essentially the same uh, model as the Adeptus Titanicus um, weapon, but just on a much bigger scale. Uh, it's got this lovely attachment here, which you can drill a nice deep hole in and put a solid magnet and magnetize it uh, to your Warlord Titan. Yeah, it looks fantastic. I'm really interested to see how these um, barrels uh, go together, how they how they glue together, whether this is just one piece and you just glue these parts on or whether you have to attach them. Because the, the Reaver, um, the old um, Reaver Gatling Blaster was an absolute pain. The new one I think is a bit bit easier because they redid all of the, the Reaver weapons. Um, uh, I wanna say 
yeah, last year. It was last year, it was December last year. Anyway, that can be yours for £92. Let's go on over to Games Workshop, where there isn't really anything to pre-order. We're, you know, four days away from Christmas. It's not a time to really have many pre-orders. Uh, and as it stands, we haven't really got any. Uh, you've just got these these books and things. So this is one of the first weeks where you haven't really got anything uh, from Games Workshop. Rest assured though, uh, come the start of January, we're going to be kicking off with all of those Sisters of Battle releases and I'm pretty sure it's going to be all of January, maybe a bit of February. Um, you've got everything from uh, the Hospitaler, uh, the Loud Hailer model, the uh, Redeemer, Janita, um, the Exorcist, you've got the, the Codex itself, uh, you've got all of the standalone box sets for the Seraphim and Zephyrim you know, combined, you've got a Battle Sisters, uh, you've got an awesome looking Battle Sisters set which I'm looking forward to, you're getting a multi-part um, Canon S, you're going to get separate um, Penitent Engine Kit and Repentia and Arcoflagellants as well and who can forget uh, St. Catherine. Well I'm going to be looking at uh, all those new models and the multi-part kits and things in a review of the uh, event I went to a few weeks ago. I'm going to try and get that video out to you as soon as possible um, to give you a bit of taster of what's going to come out next month. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.